The Matchless Kung Fu is a game full of possibilities. You can become a strong warrior, you can become a bar owner, you can do a lot of things in this game. One of those things, of course, is becoming a landlord, or as I'd like to call it, a slumlord. As you can see on the game map here, all these red houses, those are my residences, which I have already bought in or I own. These other houses around here belong to other people, which means they have been developing their own stuff. People collect their own resources, they get their own goods for the market, and a lot a lot of them even set up their own stores. Now, what I'm going to be doing today is just going up to these houses and buying them. First, though, we want to take a look inside. Is this house worth buying? Now, other than a couple lights and really like a bed and a chest, there's not much in here. But the main thing we're really looking for is these grocery cabinets. If you go to buy here, you can see there's 8,000 coins in here, plus a list of goods that's being sold. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up to the house and we're going to buy it for 1800 now you would think that this would remove all of the owner's goods from the house but it does not whatever you place in the house now belongs to me so when i go to here and i go to view look we now have 8,000 coins we'll take that if that brings us to 10,000. and on top of that we now have a grocery cabinet which is filled with different goods that we'll be selling now right now the grocery cabinet is not in business so i'm going to open business and it's now in operation we don't even need to put anyone here to operate it people will just come here buy the goods and place gold in it now that is just one house as you can see there's more houses all around the map so today i'm going to be going to some of them and buying basically all of them resetting everybody and don't worry this isn't going to make them homeless by any means this isn't canada where you buy someone's house and then they become homeless this is the matchless kung fu instead they're going to be able to build their own house as you don't need grants or anything to build on the lands of a matchless kung fu now there are some houses that we can't buy say this house right here this is the tutorial starting house but those are listed as villages so they're a bit different they're like stuck there forever we also can't buy houses which have not been built yet say this house right now an npc is trying to build and what's, what's this scumbag trying to do what are you doing but over here we have another house and of course we can run in it check there is a grocery cabinet here and there is a little bit of coin in there this isn't a spot which gives me constant burn and damage because i haven't solved that yet but if we open it quick, we can take the coins, exchange all. We'll make sure the house is set to public and then we'll run it away before we burn to death. <laughs> so this house right here, 1200, we'll buy it and then we'll run in. Back here is the grocery cabinet and there we can see 3000 coins. So we're already up to almost what 1400 coins now. That is really good. And this is how we do it. 5800 coins. Every house that we buy, we're getting profit off of. Oh no, this guy's stuck. Okay, I need to help him. Can I recycle? There we go. <laughs> recycle that lamp. Are you all right, sir? Yeah, yeah, there we go. He's he's Good. I do like to check most of these houses before I buy them, like this one. 9,000 coins? Oh yeah, let's go. So we're gonna buy the house, set it to public. That only cost us $2,000, and on top of that, we now get 9,000 coins back. And we now have a red house in pretty much every square on the map. I'm going to go claim this one, and then we will be making our way onto the next part of the plan to make even more money off of all of these NPCs. We'll buy this house for 900, and I believe that is the last house for a moment we'll get another 2800 and then i'll be able to open business and set this house to public like oh npc is still in here get out man you don't own a house anymore this lady's trying to sell us a skill uh what kind of skill does she want to teach us oh that's her wife <laughs> i forgot who her wife was of course deals three times kick damage oh nice we got the toe stomping kill so now that we own every house on the map the other npcs will slowly start to build new houses but our main thing right now is just going to all these houses and making sure that the businesses are running and open as well as the house being set to public as people are going to be coming into here to buy the different goods and then from that we're going to be making even more money passive revenue is the best and what is this some some random stuff meat and poo that's a pretty good find man what a good day now in order to unlock more spots of land we're gonna have to go back to completing the trials in the game which are different quests and goals that you have like on here we have to earn 100 coins by playing at the music house so I'm going to go up there and do that. That way we can unlock even more places with more NPCs to profit off of. Here's that bastard that stole my pet monkey from the last video. He's fucking drunk. He doesn't deserve to have this pet monkey, dude. Poor monkey's being neglected.
disconnected. I want to be cheesed about that for the rest of my life. Scat, you're not allowed in. It's late. I'm going to bed. What the hell? Somebody else just ran in. Oh, oh, he just, he just threw him out. Okay. I'm a music house manager. Right now, she is at minus eight affinity to us. She does not like us. She's suspicious of us because she's just met us. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start gifting her stuff. She likes crafting, but we're going to give her a hundred pieces of poo. And that's going to make her 11 grateful. Now, if we give her money on the other hand, like let's say give her a thousand gold coins, she's going to be grateful by 50. 50. What about 500 coins? How grateful by 50? What about 250? Okay, so grateful by 25. So as you can see, for every 500 coins that we gift her, her affinity goes up by 50. So... We can keep on doing that until we get to 600. Reason why we want to do it in increments of five. <laughs> oh my God, she just went to go pick us up and I just glitched myself into the floor. We're already at the spot where we can start to learn skills from her. Like right here, we can learn music from her. So theoretically, to get to 200 affinity, it should only cost about 2000 gold. We spent a little bit more than that, but we're going to keep on doing that. So just gifting her 500 gold at a time, a bunch of times. And with that, she is now at 628 affinity. So we go to her and we go to talk. We can now ask her to become lovers. And she says, I feel the same way. We are the perfect match. And we now become a couple. With that, we now have another lover in the game. I'd like to talk to you. What's going on? How could you be so unfaithful? Oh no, they already understand that uh, we already have another wife. And they are not quite enjoying that. You can only be intimate with me. So make a decision. Uh, I'll console them but I'm not making a decision. Uh, continue persuading or continue persuading. <laughs> That's some pretty good options right there. Sadness plus 100. I don't have any money left. You can ask someone else. How do you not have any money left, girl? I just gave you like a bunch. Um, But her affinity is now at 1300. So even though she's sad, she is still with us. Now on top of that, there's this other uh, beggar woman right here and as you can see uh, our wife is currently giving her money so what we're gonna start doing is doing the same thing that we just did 500 and she's gonna just start loving us so theoretically by doing this it only takes us six thousand gold to get a wife we're just gonna keep on doing this giving her 500 uh coins until we have given her six thousand total the uh required amount to get with anybody <laughs> And now we are at 600 affinity. We can go and talk to them and we can go to become lovers. I feel the same way. Become a couple. Woot woot. There we go. We'll both do a bow to each other. And then I'm just going to go on with my way. You got, you have a good life there, wife. I don't know when I'm going to use them or how I'm going to use them, but we now have three wives to use. That sound horrible out of context. Don't clip that. Now, there is another auction going on, which is, wow, that's a really good treasure coat. Max load plus 753 and removes 10 cold stacks. And they're selling my horse's belongings. Remember my horse that died in the last video? <laughs> they're selling his 9 meat and 52 poo. What? <laughs> what? You know, I gotta throw my 9 poo into the auction just to get it out there, see what people bid on it. Okay, most people are not interested in the horse's belongings. Who's even bidding on this? I'm up an ante. I'm bidding 124. Like, <laughs> like you're buying nine pieces of meat and 52 pieces of poo. Now let's check out nine pieces of poo. They're gonna go back at it. I'm buying it. I'm bidding 19. Imagine wasting all this time over nine poo. 21, 22. Come on, just fucking give up. Great, she got it for 22. Awesome. So we buy all of our items and we get our 22 coins back. And here we go. I think we're playing music now. And yeah, she gave us three roasted meat. Come on, we gotta make money though. I don't know why. <laughs> She's getting really close. Yeah, th this is how it goes. Let me see. I wonder. So if I go to sleep together in same bed, I can I can sleep I can sleep with my snake. Can I uh sleep with any of my partners? Uh, you have to be a team. Damn. So let's make let's put her into our team, and then now we can go together in same bed. There we go. Look at that. Finally, our character's sleeping with something that isn't one of his own animals. <laughs> what is it? Zenfei Yulu meets with each other, but. There are countless people in the world. We can say love with your lady. Breeding ZU. What is breeding ZU? Parents of a beginning are human beings and are extremely difficult. I really prepare for psychological preparations and become a father. Parents, the foundation of people. Breeding new life. Birth should be good. <laughs> what? This is uh, the weirdest way to uh, get intimate. Oh, and just like that, we have birth. 
to a new kid. We could either follow a father or follow a mother's surname, which is both just been mixed up there. Goes out of a bar. I'll name this guy after one of my Patreon members, Robin. There we go. I think we now have a child or something somewhere. I don't know where he is. Um, I do think we can play with him in time. Have you heard? There's a bandit force nearby and they're doing evil. Oh no, it's our duty as chivalrous men to kill them. Let's put in another uh, Iceland territory, I guess right there. And I want to go collect all my wives, as uh, crazy as that sounds. I can go around and start putting everyone in my team now because some of them are affinity. Like this person, 2,000 with us. I've never met this person in my life. Oh, because we're of the same bloodline, so we have 2,000 trust. Okay. Well, let's go, girls. We gotta go find other ones. There, There's one of them. She just ran inside of here. Hey, you, we're, we're going on a mission team up come on girls we, we gotta go kill some bandits <laughs> now i have three of them uh one of them's already drunk that's not good i believe we have like a stable manager wife at home oh no where where <laughs> oh oh get me out of there yeah we have one more wife who is a stable manager so we're gonna go recruit her and then go take care of the bandits <laughs> her other wife is way in the back drunk just stumbling trying to get to us <laughs> come on girls keep up here we go here's her last wife uh for <laughs> for now all right so we got three of them we, we're all together now that guy's just like straight pimping man cool kid david is living it up he doesn't give a fuck man He's just collecting wives so we can go to bandit camps with them and fight. Look at that. <laughs> They're just following him. <laughs> we're gonna go to a bandit camp and just fuck shit right up, man. All right, we're here. There's the bandits. Uh, looks like they are not too strong. Look how this guy's jealous by 25 towards us. Oh, oh, shoot. We're already fighting. Let's assist uh, one of our many wives. <laughs> They're all fighting right now. They're doing pretty good, man. Look, I think I'm only have to gonna do this one move and he's already killed. Yeah, he's down, man. Down for the count. All right, girls, you protect me. I'm going to uh, loot this guy. There we go, Leo. Look at how fast that is. <laughs> oh my God, look. We're going into battle and we just have like... Uh, two lines of dialogue like five six different people helping us yeah let's go girls let's get them look at how many moves we have access to <laughs> just wild oh my man <laughs> well, I, that was just such a lineup all right let's go jeez oh my <laughs> and then every oh and then they're all gonna go and do their super moves against him ah oh, kicking him in the nads and shit yeah this makes it extremely easy to knock down these bandit camps now there we go and now this just destroys everything so fast come on girls help destroy <laughs> they all group up on it at once so i believe we just have to destroy all of these in order to knock down this bandit camp this is person just stole four meat off me okay i gotta make sure i target the right one interact battle start battle <laughs> me and my four wives you may kill the opponent with your attack <laughs> no let's let's do it execute it fucking kill him what is it <laughs> jesus christ man all my wives <laughs> this is nuts oh oh shit oh no oh my god we did kill him we'll take all the loot of course but yeah i think i think she's fucking dead uh let's bury her make sure nobody saw that oh there's now a tomb here oh back to destroying i mean she shouldn't have gotten away but i got all the girls out here just freezing and stuff and now i want to go to all my houses quick because i have these grocery cabinets set up here and as you can see there's 2900 in this one that's pretty good and now that it has been about two days, we got, like, more money in pretty much every single one. That one has 1,200. There's two more in a poisons biome spot. Seems like every house has made at least a couple hundred gold upwards of a 1,000 just after two days of playing the game. So just on our investment alone, we're starting to make our money back just with the goods selling, which is really good. It's good that the goods are selling. <laughs> it's better to tie a woman back. Be what? <laughs> What is this scumbag doing? He just robbed one of my girls. How about we literally just kill him, like, in front of everyone? See how that works. I think that should... Yeah, you'll kill the opponent with your attack. Execute. Fuck him. Wants to steal from us? This is what happens in a world of matchless kung fu. You get killed, man. You're gonna get toe stomped, and then you're gonna get your groin kicked. <laughs> and that's gonna be the end of you. And... Whoa, what has happened? We are blinded? Disabled. Why is our eye disabled? As much as a blind playthrough might be fun, I don't think uh, this is going to make for what is good YouTube content. This looks like shit. I can't even see the water, dude. We are blind. 
Oh god, we gotta get to the medic. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I can't see it start falling off. Doctor, you gotta help me. I can't see dick all. Uh, yeah, let's cure that eye disability because this is ridiculous. Oof, okay, there we go. That's a lot better. And we'll cure our ailments tainted by vile blood of evildoers. Well, we killed him, okay? We did it. I think with that, I'm going to end off this matchless kung fu video. Make sure you leave a like, check out the links in the description, comment and subscribe, do all that stuff that really helps me grow. Close to the start of day six. Whoa! <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't. I remember the first episode when we did that. I want to see how that works with the girls. Come on. <laughs> this is going to be cool, man. Okay, just watch. Okay, so we're going to go up. We're going to press T and then... <laughs> <laughs> oh no okay i better stop okay we're at the end of a video let's not get demonetized yet thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace